Chapter 31. So, chapter 31 starts. It is of course well known that careless talk costs lives. And then it, it goes on to talk about how Arthur saying, if you remember from the previous chapter, I seem to be having tremendous difficulty of my lifestyle, <laughs> travelled through a freak wormhole and opened up in the fabric of space-time and went back in time, yeah, across vast distances to where uh, two alien leaders were trying to discuss, like, um, I guess, terms of surrender? or peace negotiations, mm -hmm. and then suddenly they're about to agree, um, like shake hands and stuff, and then suddenly <laughs> that the wormhole reopened up and that what Arthur said, play, uh, yeah, had not played, but yeah, had <laughs> been heard in the room. Right. And in the Vlöhung, Vlöhurg tongue, <laughs> it was the most, sure uh, it was the most deadful, dread, deadful, dreadful insult imaginable. <laughs> And they were like, well, we have to fight for centuries now. <laughs> and then after large-scale defamation, after thousands of years of fighting and death, <laughs> they realised, hang on, why don't we just locate the... They just located the... Um, the like, the origin of this crude message. Um, <laughs> and they spent thousands of years... Uh, traveling to try get to this place and um they yes they they have a big war for like years or whatever and then they suddenly realize it was a misunderstanding right so then yeah they go across all the time it's uh well time, right? they go all across space for thousands of years to try locate this the, f the planet that um broadcast this message and it just so happened the first place they find is earth mm -hmm. but um and but they're... <laughs> due to a terrible miscalculation of scale, the entire battle fleet was accidentally swallowed by a small dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it turns out they're very tiny. <laughs> and then, those who study the complex interplay of cause and effect in the history of the universe say that this sort of thing is going on all the time, mm -hmm. but we are pow powerless to prevent it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that was just an amazing little, like side excerpt thing that like, like yeah like a footnote almost yeah i feel like you only get that in something like the hitchhiker's guide because it's just yeah. like pretty unrelated to everything that's going on yeah it just went on like a little tangent yeah but it's it's, it's like it's like your uh, like your grandpa's telling you a story <laughs> yeah and, and it kind of like swerves off slightly <laughs> but anyhow yeah it, it goes back to arthur yeah, when, and... we, when we come back it's like the old man on it, like after a short air car trip there in the it looks like it's what like a big a dining room or like mm -hmm. just a yeah a massive place there's lots like a yeah big dining area on with fancy tables and they're all stuffing their faces with food <laughs> yeah trillion in uh Zephod and ford are there yeah and they're like oh look arthur is not dead that's good <laughs> yeah, um, and then um, they introduce him to the mice. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah but Alpha which, goes. Oh, uh, <laughs> there, there are mice on the table. If <laughs> just everyone fell silent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's racist. And um, like, I do quite like the uh, this part where it's uh, he heard the silent and glanced around at everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's that's quite a nice little bit. He heard the silent. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah, um, slightly oxymoronic. I kind of I like the the mice names, uh, Benji, Benji and, and Frankie. Frankie, yeah, yeah. I feel like I don't know if I will ever have pet mice, but if I do, I feel like those are good good names. Benji and Frankie. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it t turns out they are the mice that um, Trillian commissioned off, brought from. Yeah, but also the ones that uh, Trillian brought from Earth. Yeah, that were on the ship with them. And, um, what was this mentioned in the last chapter? But, um, Slutty Bartfast was going to put, um, fjords on Africa. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. and they were like, no need, we, we, and it's like, but I spent, I spent ages making glaciers, uh, that are ready to melt or, and, like, f uh, form the land all over African continents. Like, I don't know, go on a skiing holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a skiing holiday. That it, it's works of art. I'm not gonna go skiing on it. <laughs> But they don't. They don't think they need um, like Earth too because they just want. They want Arthur's brain. Yeah, they want. They want the the question. Um, right, and they think it's hard code somewhere deep inside of Arthur. Yeah, and they just want it so that they, they can go on like talk shows and stuff. Yeah, and do a whole like thing. Yeah, have loads of gigs of, about <laughs> around the, the question, galaxy. the answer to life. 
an enormously fat contract to do the 5D chat show and lecture circuit back in our own dimension. Mm -hmm. But we've got to have product, you see. It's like, we need something. But it's like, they need they need something for there to be follow-up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but they... <laughs> we, we have something that sounds good. An ultimate question that sounds good. <laughs> from a couple mice. They want to buy Arthur's brain to get to try and extract the question out of it. Yeah, um, and Ford's like, well, no. But Zaphod's like, oh, yeah, replace it with a fake one. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Well, he like says he's hardly is, what? using it. Whatever. I don't understand. Where's the tea? What's the difference? Who's, who's, who'd know the difference? And then Arthur goes, what? <laughs> and Zaphod goes, see? And then said Zaphod, Zaphod, and howled with pain because of something Trillian did at that moment. Right. Uh, it is, I like that. I'd notice the difference. I'm like, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> We'd make sure you wouldn't. So they're like, just kind of back to the door slowly, like, you know what, I don't think, uh, we're going to take up your deal. And then they move to try and take it by force. Right. And But a bunch of alarms sound at that moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that's basically where that chapter ends. But I will say a detail I noticed um, earlier when they're all eating around the table. Yeah. This is the mega donkey. Yeah. Someone asks <laughs> for like to pass the graded Octarian mega donkey. Which was used as a metaphor or like an idiom. Like it Yeah. Would... It was like, uh, yes, the old proverb of like talking the legs off of a mega donkey or whatever. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that, yeah, that was quite a nice little detail. But yeah. It's always nice to see those sorts of things come back up. But yeah, until um, the next one.